Yes, buddies. I get questions every single day about resistant starch. People want to uh, people want to increase their resistant starch intake because it supposedly leads to more weight loss, and they want to ask me about uh, whether it's whether they should be cooling all their potatoes. Will it still work if I don't cool all of my potatoes? Um, you know, what am I supposed to do with this resistant starch thing? So I'm just going to answer that today. This is seriously, I get this question pretty much every day. Um, and so I want to, I want to mainly I want to make this video so I can just answer the questions with, send a link, watch this video. <laughs> All right, so here we have a potato. Believe it or not, I spent a lot of time trying to perfect this drawing of potato and my art skills are such that it's, it's still crap. <laughs> but it'll, it'll serve a purpose here. So potatoes are around two to three percent of resistant starch, depending on what kind of potato you've got. So just for argument's sake, let's say this is a potato. Two to three percent, let's say there. That is your resistant starch that's in a in a standard potato. You've got that much resistant starch. Now, resistant starch is a good thing, all right. It helps with digestion. It's it's uh, it helps to create good um, environment in your gut for producing good uh, microbiome, gut bacteria. It's really good. It's uh, resistant starch works a little bit like fiber. It's Fiber is totally non-digestible and it's just good for helping digestion, but you don't actually absorb any calories from it. Resist resistant starch, you absorb about half the calories from it and the rest is, uh, is works a lot like fiber. Um, so resistant starch is a very good thing. It is a very, very good thing. Now, your standard potato has your two to three percent. Let's, uh, let's work on the, on the round number of three percent since it's the higher figure. And, uh, and let's, yeah, yeah, let's use that. So when you cook, potatoes and then cool them you increase the cooling process increases the resistance starch by about 10 percent all right so uh so instead of having then three percent of resistance starch you've then got 3.3 percent so maybe you just add this little tiny bit over here there you go there's your extra 0.3 percent it's almost nothing all right we'll just there you go tiny little bit of extra resistance starch added because you cooled it after you cooked it all right now, let's scale that up. So for me personally, and this is not a guide for you to then say you have to eat this much, but for me personally, when I was eating my year of only potatoes, I was eating about 3,000 grams, three kilos of potatoes a day on average, around about, it went up and down, but that was about average. Um, so what did that do for me? So 3,000 um, 3, grams of potatoes yields about 90 grams of resistant starch, okay? Now, if you increase that by 10% through cooking, then suddenly you've gone plus nine grams equals 99. You probably didn't need that written out for you on the board, but you know, I'm a teacher, I like to write things on the board. So now we've got 99 grams of uh, resistant starch, okay? Um, so that's, uh, you know, 99 grams out of 3,000, you've increased it by hardly anything. Now, the, the calories that you get from this, Carbohydrates get about four calories per gram, right? So you take the nine grams and you go uh, times four equals 36. You got 36 uh, extra, you've saved 36, um, sorry, you've made 36 calories worth of resistant starch, but you can only, you can only uh, absorb half of the calories. So uh, divided by two, equals 18. Congratulations. All that effort to cool and uh, cool your potatoes before you eat them has saved you a grand total of 18 calories for the day. <laughs> now sarcasm is intended here. That's 18 calories. So is it worth the trouble? Is it worth the effort to uh, increase your resistance starch intake by cooling your potatoes? 18 calories you know, nine grams of extra resistant starch is no big deal. It really, it's minuscule. There's no point to this. You're wasting your time. <laughs> resistant starch is great. You should eat potatoes to get your resistant starch. Also available in uh, beans and rice and other starchy foods. You should eat your starchy foods to get your resistant starch. Yes, you should. But should you bother spending the time cooling it um, before you eat it and going to that extra trouble? No, that's my opinion. So for all the people that write to me every day saying, what about resistant starch? 
I would say life is short, find something more fun to do. <laughs> you don't need to worry about resistance starch, folks. Resistance starch is great. You do, you should try to get more resistance starch, but going to that extra trouble of making sure you cool every meal before you eat it, nah, forget about it. <laughs> You've got better things to do with your time. <laughs> and if you don't have better things to do with your time, then that's what you should focus on, finding better things to do with your time rather than uh, getting resistance starch done. All right, that's enough from me. I hope that helps. I hope it all makes sense. Comments and questions below. Uh, email me if you've got any questions. And if you're interested in my coaching, uh, then links are below. Check out all the links below and, uh, and let's get in contact. And let's, I do a free call. So if you want a free, um, I want a free coaching call, then uh, yeah, hit the link below and let's do it. All right, spot up everyone. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks everyone, spot up.